Welcome everybody uh, to the Collins and Andy show. Yeah, um, digital blueprint unveiling success. What we're going to cover today is we're going to cover some more features for O-Connect, which we didn't manage to get through last time. So Colin, say hi. <laughs> Hello, hi, Andy. Yes, sorry, yeah. I muted myself. I was like, <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone. Hope you are all having a good day today. Today is Thursday. I have lovely weather today in my town, Milton Kings, and I'm just happy to be here. So, hope you enjoy the show and we all learn from it. Thank you, Andy. Let's ride on. Okay, so. We covered a number of, of features and benefits last time, but what we're going to try and do is to cover the rest of them today. So first off, tell us about the whiteboard, Collins. Yes, yeah, so let's look at whiteboard. So whiteboard is, um, we look at on passives and AI whiteboard. We know AI will be, will, be, will be included in the whiteboard. So what does whiteboard does? Let's look at the application. It's a function where you can just write something. Say you're having a meeting and you say, oh, let's me, let me open a whiteboard and demonstrate something, right? It's like flip chart. You know, you have your flip chart in the office or a little board in the office where you can write. So this is an AI whiteboard, or we can call it a virtual whiteboard. So you can write on it, erase it, demonstrate something. Maybe you want to explain something. You can just write it and say, okay, this is what I, I, I wanted to say. This is it. This You can demonstrate on it. You know, with everything is just like writing something, just writing. But the good part with unpassive whiteboard, when AI will be introduced, means like you, can, you, you want to write a letter, for instance, the letter A. Sometimes you write it when you're trying to write. It's not really nice, isn't it, Andy? It's just like really terrible. My when writing's get, like a doctor trying to write a prescription. Yes, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the moment this the system notice, the system will identify or just look at it and know you want to write the letter A and it'll just fix it up for you. The moment your pen go up and cross, wow, wow, the A will just come nicely. That's AI induced within the whiteboard to, to make sure everything you're writing comes out neat and tidy for you. So does, what, it do the same, I, does it do the same for pictures? So if you're trying to draw something, you know, like a circle or a square or a pie chart or something like that, can it do, do that yeah, as well? Yeah, it, 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 the same, the same. It's like you draw a man, you know, sometimes the, the, the legs are just crooked, like, and if you just straighten it straight for you, a straight line and everything, or pie chart, just like, okay, this pie chart, it will just identify and then do it, fix it nicely for you, nice and tidy. And if you think that's not what you're trying to do, you try to redo it again. The moment you read it, the system will identify it and then fix it again, tidy it up for you to make it neater. Now, the, the interesting thing about this is, <clears throat> certainly from a business perspective, a, word, a, a picture paints a thousand words. So if you're trying to, to sell something to one of your customers, and we used to use this with financial services, and actually I, I came quite adept to being able to write upside down so that I'm sitting across from a table, I'd be able to write upside down and show someone the, the picture and the, and the description that I was trying to do. But now this makes it nice and easy. I can draw things or show people things online. Um, and the AI technology means that not only can they read it, because as I said, my writing surrenders, um, but they'll be able to see the picture clearly now that, as I said, a picture paints a thousand words. So that's fantastic. Okay, so we've also got things like um, questions here. So questions are added in. What what difference is that going to make, do you think? And how does that work, Collins? Yeah, so if we look at questions, if you look at the chat, the chat board, so where we go and chat, there is a question site section and there is a chat section. So when you switch on that question, so you select the question function down, it disable the chat. So that will be for Q and A. So when somebody asks a question, you can just drag it, put it on that board for everyone who is on the panel to look at it, read and answer it appropriately. So that's yes. the reason. So you just do with Q and A. 
Now, now, again, that's fantastic from our point of view. If you're doing a webinar for people, if you think about this, we've got all of these comments coming down in the chat. And if there's a question in there, and we do this every Sunday with heroes, bear in mind. Um, <clears throat> so John Brilla has the task of trying to find the questions in the chat. Now, if you can segregate that so that you've just got the questions, it makes life so much easier, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You know, Brilliant. and it's clear for everyone to see that this question time, I don't, you don't want to chat because the system just, is just taking you straight to the question board where everything you ask about questions. Do you have a, any question? Yes, put it in there and they'll just put it and then answer it accordingly. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we've, we've got this chat we mentioned before, but you can, you can do other things with the chat. You can disable the chat. You can have, uh, you can chat directly to the speaker. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the chat is really, like we said, we have the question side, we have the chat side, which is split between the speaker. So when you send information to the speaker, so those who are on the panel, they can speak for themselves, they can write something, and they will be able to say it. So the speakers can easily write something. I can write it, and Andy will say it. So that's only for speakers, those who are on the panel. And the chat is for everyone, those who are attendees. So they'll be sending information or maybe they are happy, you know, making comment and everything. And it's just coming. And the beauty about the chat, you know, when you change the background image, the background color coding, the chat has its own color coding. For instance, if you select celebration, you notice there is a, there is a golden, you know, golden cup and flowers coming, you know, around the chat side. So it has its own color coding. Whatever background you change, you select it, the chart will also come with something really beautiful to differentiate it, you know, and that's the power, you know, on Passive is bringing to the market, the eye-catching stuff that on Passive is bringing. Okay, so, I mean, from a, a business perspective, again, if you're hosting a webinar and, and people are on the panel and you need to be able to speak to the, the, the speaker, that's an excellent opportunity to be able to do that without, you know, interrupting the webinar, etc. cetera. And, and, again, we've mentioned the Q&A side. So what about these emojis? We keep hearing about these emojis. Oh, wow, emojis, Andy, that is a killer. One of the beauty about Unpassive, the emojis are all designed by Unpassive. It's nothing. Hamburger emojis, you know, clapping, whatever emojis you can have it there. So there's just different. I've never seen it because I've been seeing emojis a lot. But in O Connect, the emojis there, they are all, you know, powered by Unpassive. And, you know, it's meaning. There's a meaning behind it, like maybe unicorn stuff. And it's just like, mass, it's just big, you know, it's sizable where it's like, it's coming straight to your face. So, but I don't know how it will really impact business well, especially when they are happy and they are celebrating or somebody has said something nice. Okay, so from a business perspective, probably not quite so good, but certainly from a point of view, if you're having a celebration for somebody, um, like a, 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 a get together for, um families that are across the globe and and it's somebody's birthday you know you've got the use of these these uh, wonderful emojis that can be added in which is rather nice okay so what about recording then uh, uh, we recording. know the other platforms do this but this is you know out we, we do have this feature so what what tell us a bit yeah, about so, that. so you can record you can record a meeting save it in cloud or on your desktop and then share it later on you know we know yes other um, um application or a, a webinar platform has also recording but let us remember about on passive that we have everything that is in the market at this point in time and we have features that are not in the market so recording is in the market yes we have it all of these other things chat yes we can say all of this they are in the market but look at the level on passive of taking it as well and when it comes to the recording what 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 is the image size or the, the 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 brightness and the sharpness of image is because of our our technology the latest technology you know on passive has in the market so it will bring brightness you watch it and you say all right my goodness this this pictures this is really clearer i can really see everything how many times do we see it in a meeting and everyone is just bled you know 
So that's, well, that's I, I love the I love the recording from the from the point of view that <clears throat> actually if you're doing a live training and unfortunately you might have employees that are ill, they can watch the training. And we're going to be able to use this feature, particularly with things like Academy, where um, you know, you're going to be able to teach these lessons or show these lessons, record it, and then be able to upload it onto Academy so that others can take advantage of it as well. Oh, and by the way, you could get paid for it. So that is a that's a phenomenal opportunity. Okay, now we, we like you said before, there are some of the other platforms that do things that we've got as well, and Screen Share is one of them. So uh, tell us a little bit about the feature. Yeah, so let's look at screen sharing. So you can share your screen, right? So you can have a meeting and say, all right, why not share the screen, share a page, you know, or what are you trying to, 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 to display or to demonstrate? You can easily share it with others, you know, using your screen share. So that's also powerful application, which is there, but we said on passive, top everything up. And we're talking about brightness again of whatever you share, you know, so that, I think that's, it's, yeah, I think it's a great, a great feature, uh, and I'm pleased that all of them have got it. But even more so from from our point of view, I think from again from a teaching perspective, you and I have both used it um, certainly on Heroes on the Sunday that we do at two p.m. Eastern, where we um, uh, run through and help people with with um, uh, back office uh, OES, mm. the the ecosystem and how it works, and 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 you've been able to show people and go through on that on that webinar you know things like how the o networks and how you can add things and take things away so that's that's a phenomenal feature i like that one too okay so we've got the obvious ones like mic and the camera um that you can have on and off but what i wanted to cover here um is that we have ai technology that basically sends your computer a ping and it works out from that exactly what your um, bandwidth is. And the problem that we've got with many of the other platforms is that if you reach the maximum that they have from 15,000 to 20,000, those with a poor bandwidth tend to get kicked out or can't have their video on or you get up uh, 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 because you can't hear what they're saying. Yeah. So. What the technology does that we've got installed within our O Connect is this system where it'll send them a ping and go, ah, this guy needs bandwidth. What we'll do, the AI technology sends them bandwidth so that they can be on the call, they can talk, and they can have their video on, correct? Yes, yeah. So we have the, the laser uh, ping technology, which is in the data center. So the moment you are in, poor bandwidth, so you have like two, two G. The system will boost you up so you can stay in contact in the meeting, you know. And remember, we we had how many? Last time was one hundred and fifty thousand, and nobody oh, was kicked out. The other time we had 20, more twenty four thirty thousand. Nobody was kicked out. It's just like those. We know sometimes yes, people say, oh yeah, they drop. They drop when they are tired, you know. And those yeah. who like I know in Cameroon where I come from, people buy data. So when your data is run out, the system cannot help you again. You have to run, go and buy another data to be able to bed. When it comes, if, if your bandwidth is low, the system boosts it up. The moment you connect within the unpassive um, ecosystem and you are in O-Connect, that's the beauty about O-Connect that it helps you to stay within the meeting so you're not kicked out, except you want to log out and go when you're tired. Excellent. Well, um, I think that feature in particular is going to make an awful lot of difference. If you put it to uh, uh, use the O-Connect, for instance, for a concert or an event, a seminar of sorts, and these people in, in certainly in Cameroon and other areas in Africa where they do have poor bandwidth that want to attend these events but can't because of this, there's, we're going to have very soon a, a system where the internet becomes a, um, a a different bird, a different game entirely, and these people will be able to link, it, link into that. But to be able to be on a on a concert that is a worldwide concert and have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people watching the same concert, you know, um, there are many rock bands that many of us would love to see but can't afford to to travel to far flung countries to watch it but given the opportunity via connect you go 
And with HD quality, that would be phenomenal. So, you, you know, again, big business. But we've got another feature that that uh, where we can add attendees. So what is the limitation to the number of attendees on as far as speakers is concerned? I know we've, we have unlimited as far as people being able to, uh, to, to actually attend. But the people talking on the panel, what, did, what, what have they designed it to do? Yes. Yeah, so... Um... Let's think about this. Mr. Ash always said this. How many people do you think can sit and talk in a meeting? Sometimes they are not up to 25. Those who are really presenters who want to present certain information, they are not really 25 or maybe 10. You know, even in a large meeting, maybe 10 people will present. So Mr. Ash said, all right, let's look at conference. How many people do you think? and be in conference. He said, all right, let, let's give them 100, those who want to be the panel. And let's look at um, webinars. Give them 50, because he said 25, but I think last time he said 50 or so, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I it will think be more, right. yes, it will be more, it will be around 50, 25, 50. Now, on those 50 people who will be on the panel, how many of them are present, are really presenting something? Because Very the rest few. can be attendee. There will mm -hmm. not be more. So there is a strategic reason why I said, let's have this 100. We know 100 people cannot speak. There is no way except you want to drag the meeting for two weeks, you know. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, and 50 people cannot, but that is the max. You can but have what I can do is I can extend it. We don't know. But but what I understand is that you can, let's say somebody has spoken, they've done their bit, they can then leave as an attendee, still be in the in the in the conference, but you can then add another one. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You can you can bring people in when they raise their hand, you see, oh wow, we let's bring this person in. You can just pull the person, bring the person in, and you can pull them back and then drop them. So attendee. Okay. And great. within the attendee, there's also you know controls within. So if you are you you, you come in as a speaker, there's also controls. So the administrator can decide to give people permission. So it's permission based. I can say, all right, I want all these people to be, you know, co-host. They will have some permission right. And then those who are not co-host, they will just have limited permission. So they can have, you know, chat, other things that those who are attendee cannot see. So it's just the permission base grow as you go higher from attendee to, 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 to participant or speakers, to co-host, to present. I think presenter and co-host, they are the same, yes. Yeah. And then to the host. So okay, the host so have... they... yes, yes that, uh, exactly. So, but and one of the other uh, the other features is a, a timer uh, system. I understand. So, what? How does that work? Wow, timer is also great. You know, remember sometimes we are in the meeting, and you want to set a time for for speakers to say, "All right, I want to give this ten minute, fifteen minute, one, um, one minute." Instead, to host stopwatch and say, "Oh, Andy, your time is up. Your time is up." You are distracting the meeting. Why not have a timer? Well, you say, all right, you know, you time the person. The person can look at the timer. When the person is speaking, knows it's just going. And then the timer will just flash and say, time is up. And you can see without someone interrupting. So it's a good feature for everyone to be alert rather than this, calling the person. So th I, This is also a great feature from the point of view that, uh, again, from a company perspective, if they're talking to a number of different people and they're doing their little presentations they need to make sure that it is within a set time frame the problem you've got is if you let them waffle on for hours and hours the meeting never finishes and people unfortunately lose interest and when that happens their concentration goes so they're not taking any of it in so this timer scenario is perfect for that okay yes. excellent so we we've, we've also got um what they call a prompter so tell me, what's a prompter? Uh, prompter is, is a screen, you know. I always use the word blind screen. You know, it's a prompter, it's a blind screen. So a prompter is just a little function, a screen, where you can upload a document or you can type in, you know, the bullet point of what you want to say as a presenter. So in that scenario, you can sit and read and you're talking to them. You read in bed, the, those who are sitting, they cannot see the screen, but the screen is just in front of you. You are just reading, okay, I want to talk about this. You're reading and you're giving 
your presentation by reading what is in front of the screen, but no one knows you are reading. Now, how professional is that? If I'm <laughs> trying to read my script like this, but I'm talking to you, it doesn't look good, does it? No. <laughs> but if I'm if I'm able to read something on the screen and do the presentation at the same same time, and and uh, you know, I've got people's attention, and this again is key. So that's fantastic. Okay, so we've got the normal one. Like, well, no, this isn't a normal one. This is an additional feature because we have a calculator in there, don't we? Yes. You know, I've, I've not seen any any webinar platform with calculator. You know, no, calculator I think this is, is a first. great feature, especially when it comes to those who want to do a lot of stuff on screen. They don't want to leave the screen and they want to do something. But there's a reason for calculator. I know, Andy, you, you will explain that. Well, because look, you're, listen, you're a uh, number person. Yeah, this is, <laughs> for, this is phenomenal. Now, I... Financial services guys, when they do presentations, as I said, we draw pictures. So we've got this whiteboard. We know that. But I also want to be able to show people the power of compounding. I want to be able to show them what it's likely to achieve if they're looking to save things, etc. So this calculator feature on screen is perfect, perfect for financial services. So every single financial services person that's doing a presentation. Now, things have changed. We used to have to go and see customers. Uh, you either visit them in their offices or you meet them in a hotel or whatever. Now, everything is virtual. Now, that, that has changed. So if they've got this system in place that they can take advantage of, and we're able to do everything that we normally would do in front of a client by showing them things, because you can use the whiteboard and you can use a calculator, this makes sales so much easier. Mm. Oh my word, that's going to make a huge difference. <laughs> All right, so we, we've got background music. Tell us a little bit about background music. What difference does that make? Yeah, background music is fantastic. So let's look at this feature, background music. There is a reason why you have that. So you can upload a music that, the, uh, that can play whilst you are waiting for your audience. Or those to build up so and you have the options to choose whatever is there or you can upload yours i think they will give us the ability for you to be able to upload the type of music you want so there's music for celebration there's music for 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 funeral you know it's just now, there is this is this in in this is the background music is in there now but the feature to be able to add your music do you think that's coming because that's not it, there right it, now that, that's it? coming that's coming right, for okay. now you have the, the the one that is there but now you'll be able to well i think with the paid version coming mr advisor if i'm not mistaken you will have it where you'll be able to upload your own background music if you think the one that are there are not suitable for you Okay, now that, that moves me nicely on to themes because in the background, you, you know, you can change the theme. Tell us a little bit about that, Collins. Wow, the theme, if you look at it, look at the screen we are sitting here. Look at our screen. It's dark, isn't it? We cannot change it. We cannot, yeah. we can't. It's just dark. We just have the, our pictures here. But now on Passive has the ability for you to change the theme maybe celebration maybe uh graduation or you know funeral whatever is there you can change it on whatever you want and you will still have the ability to upload your own team you know team is about changing the color the background not background music but the background of sure. what we are sitting here everywhere you go it's just dark or funny it's just coded there hard coded and that's it done yeah. for you and you are paying the, I to, to the ability to change to be fair, I look good in black, so I'm happy with that. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's nice to be able to change the. the it, it's almost like mood music, where you you, you have a, a a nice background that kind of calms people down. So that's a that's a good one too. Okay, we've got screen capture. Tell me about that. What's that? Screen capture is powerful. I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's just like cropping. So like we are sitting in a meeting. You know, you've present something nice. And I say, wow, why not take, instead to miss it, why not? I just capture the screen. You know, I can just copy the screen straight away, you know. And after that, I can later on do presentation with that screen. So it's just capturing where you are. So you're doing a nice presentation. I say, oh, Andy, I love that. I just take like a snipey of it. Capture that bit and now, then does, keep it. Is this just for the host to be able to do or can attendees do that? 
um, attendees, because we talk about permission level, so the 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 the, 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 the um, is it the speakers can do it. Attendee don't okay. don't have the the, the 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 function because it is permission based. But all those the panelists can do that. Okay, that's phenomenal. Because uh, uh, again, from a point of view of a, a, a training session, if there's one particular slide that stands out, you take a screen capture of that and you can pass that round to your your sales team for argument's sake. So that's really good. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so we've we've got resounds. What what are resounds? Oh, resounds! I love resounds. Think about it's if it's a it's a very beautiful uh, features. So it's you you have the options to select whatever. Resound is just about. You know, sometimes when we are in a meeting and somebody do something and everyone is clapping, you know, you just have to clap. Why not having something that will clap for you? You can just click and it claps. You can click. You just chair. You click this. So that is resound. And That's you phenomenal. Have so you have a, <laughs> yeah, you'd have, you'd have a presenter finish his presentation and then someone will press the clapping and everybody... It would sound like everybody's clapping in the room. That would be phenomenal. Yeah. Is it, there's more than one though, isn't it? It's not just clapping. It's yeah, it's hooray and lots of different lots resounds. Of them, yeah. Do you think at some point they might add the facility for us to be able to add our own resounds in? Yes, Mister. I said it. That we'll be able to add our own. I think the new, the paid version coming, you'll be able to add your own resound, add your voice, and say wow, I and it's a. I, I can't wait for that one because I want to hear "Boom Baby" from Marty or "Bite Me." That would yeah. be phenomenal. Okay, so so tell tell me, Collins, what is a ticker? What is that? Oh, I love ticker. You know, sometimes when you are just this is one of the one of my best features in on passive. You know, you can have like a footnote. You know, just take it as a footnote. Say, all right, and we have this topic, or say we want to talk about. O connect today. So what if I put O connect and O connect is passing the topic today is O connect and O connect is going underneath our screen like our pictures is going. Everybody comes in knowing that oh they are talking about O connect. What's all about O connect? And we can be adding more and more. We can say all right, let's add something. O connect is so wonderful and blah blah blah. So that is the ticker running behind the screen. That's phenomenal. Okay, so there are two more that I want to cover today, and then. We're done. What we will do in our next broadcast is some Q&A. But um, for, for now, a push a link. What does push a link mean, Collins? Push a link is beautiful. You know, you have you have a, you have a, a website. Just say a website. You're having a meeting. So this is a feature where um, you'll be able to send a link out, to, to, to attach a link, and then send it out for everyone to see, be it the attendee, or the audience, so you are doing a presentation and you just said, all right, you know what, please, this is the link I'm sending out, you just push it straight, put it there, put it on that feature and on the function, copy it, put it there, and then press the button, and then boom, you go, the link will just be there for everyone to click. And the moment you click, it takes you to the page where the link, the document is, is attached, and you can read it. Ah, okay, so it's the link to a document. It's not It's not like the uh, call to action button. No, it's different. Yes, you just put the link and you push it. You can push You can push a YouTube link. You can push a document. Just imagine like you have a meeting and you're telling people to go to Dropbox. Oh, don't go. The link is on the, in the Dropbox. Oh, the link is in the share folder. How many times people go to share folder? Because people, now the world is too busy. Work is too busy. Somebody say, like me, I for one. When you tell me go, I'll say, please, can you just share the link with me? Just put it in my email. I want to click on it. But what if we are in a meeting and you know people are really lazy? You put the link there, click it, it goes, and I can just click on that link. It takes me to the document. Read doc the document is still in the share folder, but you've given me the, the link to the share folder. When I click it, it just opens the document for me. I can read or I can save it on my desktop because I don't want to go back to drop folder. I don't want to go back. That's a massive off. time saver then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> massive time saver. Okay. And and the final one we're going to do today um, is we've we've done background and we, we've done, there is a virtual background. And I believe what one of the, the features that we're likely to add will be a chosen background. So we can choose our own at some point in the future, but that's not there yet. And I'll, uh, and I'll, I'll come back to the the possible additions that are going to be there. But the last one I want to do really is search for an attendee. So 
I, you know, if you've got 100,000 people on, how does this work, Collins? Wow, that's a good feature. See, <laughs> you have a lot of people and people. some people are not there. You can just remember that, my God, I didn't send the invite to them. What do you do? You can just go to search for an invite. You have two, two, two features there. One, you can send them. You can send an invite to their external email and you can send an invite. You can send an invite to those who are already internal within your organization. So Okay, so does it also work for, let's say, as I said, we've got 100,000 people on the call and I want to bring someone to the panel. Does it work that way as well to say, oh, there they are? No. So those people on the panel, they are already in the meeting. You can only bring them in. But say you have people who are not in the meeting and you really want them to be in this meeting, be it attendee, be it uh, uh, speakers or what, but they are not even in the meeting. And you say, oh my God, I forgot to send this person. Maybe the person is not within your organization, but you really want the person to come in. I can okay. send a, I can send the meeting invite to their Gmail, Yahoo Mail or that, and then ring and say, oh, I've sent you the meeting link. Please click that link and join us. And what would the, what will happen to the person? The person can click it, join us, and if the person don't have an account, we'll just register for free, join the meeting. Those now that are Very already in, but they are not in the meeting, you forgot to send them. You can go to your organization and say, oh, I didn't send this person. Of course, just put the link there, click, select them, select those. You think you forgot about them. Boom, there you go. It goes straight to their own mail. They click on it and they come into the meeting. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so... So what we understand as, as some features that are being added over the course of the next couple of months once we've, we've um, gone global is, is things like auto translation. Now, it, it, explain this to me. I've got an idea as to how it works. I'm not that thick, but explain to everybody how this auto translation thing might work. I love auto translation. Already we have it. Uh, we have the the, the, the the translation where you can click. It just changes the screen, right? Auto translation is just about you speaking and the system translates you speaking in English. As Mr. Ash Mufara used the word, speech to speech translation. You know, that's it. So we have speech to text, text to speech. But in O Connect, it will you, you have speech to speech. Say I'm speaking in English. Someone is listening in French. The system automatically translate to your language. Now, this is how I'm thinking because AI is driven within the, 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 the system. This is how I'm thinking. It's not the system, but I, I'm thinking something crazy. Now, say I'm living in Paris and I'm, 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 I joined this meeting and you're speaking in French. That's how I think. The system can easily pick your geolocation. I know this person is in Paris. means that country is speaking French. Boom, French automatically auto and now if you think like i'm a french speaker but I, i'm on holiday in paris you can select a button and say no i'm an english speaker and the system start to translate give you give it in, in english in english now this is this is <laughs> uh, for me this is the biggest biggest feature and benefit we've got so let me give i'll give you an e example <clears throat> and i've mentioned this a couple of times I was invited to a webinar um, the other week and the guy spoke in English, then in Italian, then in Spanish and apologized because he couldn't speak Russian, Greek and German. Um, and after the meeting, I was telling the my invitee that we had this opportunity that's very shortly coming. And before I finish my sentence, I want it. And I asked him how many people that they had would like to have been on the call. He said 350,000. Now, if you've got a system whereby I can speak in English and they can listen in Japanese or in Russian or in Australian, no, sorry, um, in French, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, that makes life so much easier. But this is huge because, again, I'll give you an example. A friend of mine works for a very large company. Um, he's obviously based here. Um, he's got a lot of colleagues out in that work in Japan that are Japanese that cannot understand English. So they have to have an interpreter every time they go to meetings in Japan. But if you had this system, A, they don't need to travel. B, they can have this um, uh, auto translate system, which does speech to speech and speech to text so that you'd be able to understand exactly what's going on live. Now, that is that is 
believe me, folks, that's the largest one of all. OK, now we, we <laughs> I'm going to close off with a couple of others. We've mentioned about um, uh, our own having our own background. That's another feature that's likely to come along. Um, our own resounds. We've mentioned that, too. And being able to upload our own background music. Now, again, that's that's huge. So what's that? What difference would that make to you, Collins? What do you think that would do for you? For you to be able to upload this, it will really make a difference because, you know, some people have choices. And they like, you know, like we're having meetings, for instance, say heroes meeting. We say, all right, let, let, let us upload our heroes, you know, the emblem. Everybody knows that beautiful thing. So it makes a huge difference when it comes to meetings because people look and say, wow, yes, I'm in the right place. Just imagine Sister Gifty here is holding a Ghanaian meeting and they want to put the Ghanaian flag. They just, boom, there you go. And everyone can, hey, yes, I'm somewhere. Or Papua New Guinea, David back off from Papua New Guinea. Yeah, oh, so I'm in Papua New Guinea now. So you feel at home, you feel welcome because it really makes a huge difference. But there's one thing we forgot to speak, the, 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 the text, upload text. Upload text. Tell me about yeah, that. That file. So imagine you have huge file. They're working on it that I believe, honestly, maybe they've already finished. Doing that, you know, that was the last feature. Mr. Andrew said they were working on it to upload, you know, a, doc, a file, and then there you go. So you don't have to leave the screen. You don't have to leave the screen and say, "Oh, where's?" You know, the screen sharing. You upload, and then you can just share straight away. So you don't have to leave the screen and say, "Oh, let me just share my screen." Now, uh, like the, the the whole screen. You know how many times you share your whole screen? Everybody's seen all your documents. But you can just share a file straight on O Connect without leaving that 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 screen, without moving anywhere. So, what do you think would do? And again, well, again, that's awesome because um, you know there's a lot of, of of private information on your on some people's desktop. Um, so, and it would be ideal if you can just just send or or just link to that file. That'd be fantastic. Okay, Collins, I'm, I'm grateful for um, uh, you helping me out and doing this today. This has been wonderful. What we want, what we want to do is um, uh, on Tuesday next week, we will be going back through O-Mail and asking questions and answers. So please, everybody, um, we're going to cover the features and benefits again of O-Mail, but we'd like some questions from you guys as to, um, uh, you know, if, you, if you're um, – having any issues as to how it works, what you can do with it, etc. And my friend Collins here is the software specialist is going to be able to help you while I sit in the background and listen. <laughs> so but please join us then. The details will be in the back office and we will share them out so that you can watch on our YouTube channels. Over to you, Collins. Say goodbye. Yes. Yeah, so just want love you guys. And please don't forget to, to I think Comfort Show is coming. Uh, empowerment show is coming at nine o'clock and we have Rob Lynn again at uh, nine o'clock and uh, um, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and and Rob Lynn at 8 p.m. So please do your best to, to go and, and float that side because it will be really good. And then one more thing, please, if you've not, you've not, you've not done anything with the, with the context going, you know, the last day is Monday. Please try to share it. Go wide and do whatever you can do. You know, just enter your home. It's three step, five, three minutes, you are done. It's good for the business. good for the algorithm. It's good for on passive. Let's do our best to push this forward. So that's it, Andy. Even if we don't okay, do it, yeah. and one we will also do it. But let's do do it. Absolutely, absolutely. And one final thing. Make sure that you go onto the On Passive YouTube channel and start sharing those videos, liking and and make and leaving comments. That really helps everybody involved. So great. Thanks ever so much, guys. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you. Bye.